Hey everybody, hey what do you think of my new tutorial intro and title? Since I can't seem to get these videos out on an actual Tuesday, I've decided to change the name of the tutorials to Laughing Bird Software's Most Excellent Tutorials. Excellent! <laughs> Today, I want to talk about Pinterest. Since I'm so into graphics, and most likely you are too, that's why you're a user of the Logo Creator, I decided to start looking a little harder at Pinterest. Now, previously, Pinterest has kind of been in my peripheral vision. I haven't really paid much attention to it. But more and more people are talking about it, so I looked up some stats. Um, Pinterest has been around for about two years now as of this recording, and there are now over 70 million people using Pinterest. My tutorial today is not necessarily how to get onto to Pinterest or how to use it. Um, it it's pretty easy. Just go to Pinterest.com and log in and create an account. But what I do want to show you is the power of searching on Pinterest and why you need to be on Pinterest if you're not already. So here I'm showing you my own Pinterest page that I, I've just literally created. If you go to Pinterest and you can type in a name for your company, my website on Pinterest is Pinterest.com slash the logo creator. So if you go to it, you'll hit this page and you'll see my boards. Pinterest calls things board. These are each individual boards that I have posted on my page. So shortly I'm going to show you how to create your own boards and then I'm going to show you how to share your boards with a lot of other people. But first I want to show you why Pinterest is so powerful. They have a search engine and Pinterest has become the third largest search engine, the third largest social media search engine behind Facebook and Twitter. And people aren't searching for text, they're searching for images. So for example, if you want to see images of, of shoes, for example, you want to type in shoes and you're going to get tons of shoes. You want to type in cool Nike shoes, you're going to get a whole bunch of other options that you can keep browsing, but they're pictures and when you see something you like, you can click on it. And if you want more information on, on this shoe, you can visit the site. And magically enough, when I visit that site, this is the company that put up that board, that pin. And when I clicked on it, I came to their website. Wow, how cool is that? And now I'm looking at their site that I had no idea even existed before I clicked on that pin in Pinterest. What if I wanted to look up uh, a recipe for tortillas? Tons of recipes, look at this. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna click on it to see more information on it. I could read about the information, but I'm going to visit the site to see more about it. And magically enough, I come to a website that I had no idea even existed. And more and more people are using Pinterest as a search engine. Okay, let's say from my example, I wanna search for the logo creator or logo creator. Just, I wanna see what's out there. And you'll notice a whole bunch of images that you can browse and maybe something will catch your eye like this one how to make money with the logo creator all right that's kind of cool so if I was to click on it I get to see the video and if I want to visit the site it goes to my YouTube channel awesome so I just pulled people to my YouTube channel with that pin so imagine you're a professional dog walker for example Interestingly enough, they have a whole bunch of stuff on professional dog walking. So if you're interested in it, you can click it. But what if you were up here? What if one of these was your pins and somebody was searching for professional dog walker and they clicked on your pin and they visited your site? That's the power of Pinterest and that's why you need to be up on Pinterest. So for this tutorial today, I want to show you an easy way to create some boards and to key up some of these boards with some keywords so that they do search, show up in the search engine. So the first thing you might wanna consider doing is getting uh, Chrome. If you don't have Chrome or if you're not using Chrome, um, I suggest downloading it. You can go to Google slash Chrome, okay? And, and get this browser because it allows you to add a plugin. Now you can use Firefox. Um, I don't know about Internet Explorer and I'm not positive about Safari but I know Chrome works, so I'm using Chrome for what I'm about to show you. In Chrome, you can go over to the window menu, click it, and choose extensions. 
So right now I have no extensions, I've disabled them for this tutorial. So I'm going to browse my gallery and I'm going to type in Pinterest. All right, now the one I've been using recently is this one right here, the pin it button. Okay, I'm going to show you what this does. I'm going to click on this and it'll install. So what this pin it button does when I browse the web, for example, let's go to my YouTube channel, okay? When I browse any of my own videos, you'll notice that when I roll my mouse over any thumbnail, a little pin it button appears. So I can find some of my videos, like uh, my 3D characters, for example, or my character creator, here we go. And I'm going to click on the pin it button and it's gonna log into my account and I'm gonna create a board called whatever I wanna call it, but I can make it Laughing Bird Software, I can make it um, cartoon character creator and that's what I'm gonna do. Now, typically the description would have a description of what this is all about. So you type in your description, but you do need keywords. So if I wanted people to search for cartoon character creator, I would add that three times at the beginning, somewhere in the middle, okay, and then at the end. And then I would pin it. I go back to my Pinterest site, and here it is. Here's the category I created, and if I click on it, here it is. Here's my description. So in theory, eventually, if somebody happens to type in cartoon character creator, you may show up in the search engines. I mean, in the search engines. Now, I just created that. I'm not gonna show up. It's gonna take a little while. It could even take up to a month. Um, but if somebody would to were to type that particular phrase in and found my site through here, that's traffic. And again, 70 million people using the search engine, you're bound to find some traffic. So below this video, I have posted an article from a site called Search Engine Land, and it gives you seven tips on how to use Pinterest uh, um, using SEO for Pinterest. You need to optimize your profile, you need to verify the website, all, all kinds of stuff. I'll let you read it at your own pace, but it's important, so take a look at it, and it will help you maximize your Pinterest site. And right after this tutorial, I'm going to do just that. <laughs> Okay, so the point of using this little pin badge up here in my Chrome browser is that I want to like as much stuff, pin as much stuff from my own channel as I possibly can. And here's my mascots. I'm going to pin this into my character creator and I will give this keywords like cartoon creator or whatever. And there's more to do than just giving your putting your keywords in the description. Uh, read that article. It's important. But when I pin it, um, I can just keep pinning and liking and pinning and pinning and eventually my Pinterest channel will fill up with my own stuff. So here's all my videos I'm going to create. Here's some more graphics that I'll keyword up. Here's some stuff that I like. Um, that's what Pinterest is all about, what you like. I happen to like comics. <laughs> um, here's some tutorials. So I'm going to type in Laughing Bird Tutorials if anybody happens to be searching for Laughing Bird Tutorials or graphics tutorials or logo tutorials. Um, here's all my software will be in this one. Uh, eventually, I'm going to have this whole page full, and you should too. So grab this little pin extension for Chrome and start liking stuff on your own site. So before I finish my tutorial, I need to tie in the logo creator with this Pinterest thing. And since the logo creator makes graphics, it marries to Pinterest pretty well. So let's try something. Let's call up my Baldy Bob pack that I have here, and I'm going to call up a template. Okay, then we're going to go back to the Pinterest site and type in something like a uh, movie poster. Something generic. I don't want you to steal anybody's stuff, but movie posters are pretty, pretty okay to pass around. Here you go. This is a good one. Batman, since I like comics, I'm going to keep him. I'm going to save him to my desktop. And then back in the logo creator, I'm going to import him. onto my template. 
scale it, size it, whatever I'm going to do. And maybe I'll write something like my favorite kind of movies or something. Okay, just to get an image out there, all right? Then I'm going to save this entire picture. And then I'm going to go to my website HTML program. And for this tutorial, I'm going to make a, a new page. And I'm going to add that graphic. However you add your graphics to your own site, whatever HTML product you have. I'm using WordPress. And then once you've added it to your website, if you have this pin it button, check this out. I can go to that poster I've created, roll my mouse over it, and I will pin it to my own channel. And I can key this up with any keywords I want. So whatever your keyword happens to be, dog walker, movie poster lover, whatever. You want to create your own board with that. And then key it up with whatever that article below tells you to do. And then pin it to your Pinterest site. And hopefully, eventually, it will show up in the search engine under my favorite movie or movie poster lover or whatever somebody's searching for. And when they find it, they will click on it and they will visit the site to see more information about it. And magically, they come to your web page that has that image in it. And once they get to your web page, it's up to you to keep them there. Just a quick tutorial showing you the power of Pinterest. So read the article below. If you haven't logged into Pinterest or haven't really paid much attention to it, start paying attention to it because a lot of people are using it and it's pretty powerful. So I hope this helps. Now go out there and start pinning. Bill, my friend. Yes, Ted, my friend. This has been a most excellent adventure.